Now, this may seem a bit self-indulgent, but bear with me, especially those of you who have an affinity for this little bastard, my avatar. Sometimes just called Mikeru, often called Mr. Silly Skull by the ever-delicious Trish fucking Vega, or the lemur-eyed cow skull guy. No, if you're not into the whole brevity thing. Now, I'd like to think people would want me to share this good news, as I have an especially warm and fuzzy, not to mention supportive, relationship with my subscribers. That son of a bitch. Anyway, you see, I had the best New Year's Day. And it didn't start all that well. Although I didn't have that god-awful hangover experienced by you party animals, alcoholics, and punk kids generally, I was afflicted with a nasty post-Christmas cold which you may still detect in my voice, although coughing or snot-wadding my pop filter would really give it away. And I was stuck in the house and I had really nothing to do but putter around. Puttering on the computer wasn't working out. My graphics program was crashing, then it would crash, and after giving me just enough false hope to sustain me, would crash again. I thought this was due to my Windows 10 upgrade or some additional updates that needed to be installed, and so I did that. For an extremely long time, punctuated by assurances, it wasn't going to take nearly as long as it already had. And after all that, I accessed the graphics program, which I had upgraded, uninstalled, and reinstalled the earlier version, and was stuck crashing when I would try to download the necessary plugins, preset shapes, and the like. Finally, I went all Casablanca, rounded up the usual suspects, and uninstalled Norton Internet Security. You see, working in IT, but not on the network side, I understand that nuanced security is too much of a pain in the ass. What is usually meant by security is strangling you, your computer, and any other intertube-like system through which air or data passes, and then, all gracious and shit, easing up on the throttling once they're sure you're having a near-death experience. Here's a motto Norton can use. Free of charge. At least, and this is a big at least, I was able to uninstall Norton Security from my computer. Back in the 90s, I had Norton Utilities so entangle itself into a computer that it acted like it had rabies, and I had to euthanize it by formatting the drive. So my puttering while Windows was updating, rebooting, and taking a buttload of time to do it consisted of cleaning the place from top to bottom and even making furtive, tip-only probes into cleaning out a closet filled with old gear, stuff I'm trying to sell on eBay, and stored crap from days gone by. And all that was the path to joy. The same sort of joy I felt when I figured out the touchscreen on my computer could be disabled, so it didn't go all batshit crazy when I cleaned the monitor. The joy I felt after turning my place upside down looking for my passport, and then, having given up hope, discovered it in my closet, in a coat, where it had slipped from the inside pocket of the coat, which I checked at least three times, and into the sleeve. And this joy involves this little bastard. You see, back in the day, and in this case by day I mean 13 years ago, I was on a kick of doing some weird photo montage images inspired by Max Ernst, Hannah Hock, and manifestations of the subconscious that would make a Freudian nod knowingly and scribble furiously in his notebook, some of which are preserved in this album. Admittedly, it's not so much art as slapping shit together for my own personal amusement, and, if motivated, I can easily return to that style, offered here for no other reason than to irritate porno fanboys whose taste runs to wines topped by a screw cap. 
Somewhere away, and I can't remember how, the lemur-eyed guy won whatever audition I was holding in my head and became front man for my online presence, which became a problem very quickly. The image is only 300 pixels high, pretty much shot through with JPEG artifacts and lossy compression. But through all the iterations you have ever seen, that's all I had to work with because I couldn't find the source images. You see, the little guy himself has only three parts. There's a set of lemur eyes. Actually, it's the same eye, just duplicated in different scales. Then there's a cow skull and the body of a frock-coated figure. And as a prop, there's a kitchen knife. What happened to those source images was a mystery to me. Searching through my CDRs yielded nothing, and they weren't on my creaky old Seagate 300 gigabyte external drive. I assumed they were lost in the total crash of a computer circa 2005. And although I could see the source images in my mind's eye, for instance, the body was of some reverend standing in the archway of a church next to his wife, attempts to search for them on the web turned up nothing. You know how they say things on the internet are permanent? Well, they say all sorts of dumb shit, but maybe that's true for the dick pictures you sent to your old girlfriend twice removed, but it wasn't working for me doing Google image searches. So eventually I gave up the search as a pointless and irritating exercise. And things like micro merchandise, because who wouldn't want this little guy on their swag, was always a bit half-hearted. Because no matter how passable the image looks on your 640x360 69 YouTube screen, it doesn't bear inspection and can't be resized. And the edges can only be softened, not recut. The lemur eyed guy was kind of like the Incredible Hulk if the Hulk didn't have the ability to pull extra mass out of somewhere. So, New Year's Day, I am totally not looking for the source images. In fact, I'm just going through a legal-sized box looking for some old papers. When out from some papers falls this little black pocket CD. Well, fuck. It's hard to read the Sharpie writing because I usually can only find big Sharpies when I need the fine point. But it appears to read Micro Logo and working graphics, which is life's little way of saying, here, stupid. <laughs> I pop it in my CD drive, and the first thing I do, because I had the sense fate was testing me, is copy the lot of it onto my desktop in case the CD self-destructed just to fuck with me. And then I dig in a bit. First, files and branch folders are not much of anything. Just long, forgotten bits and pieces and the same low-grade images. But I felt like Howard Carter going down those steps and peering into the tomb of Tutankhamun because I see things, wonderful things, little things glimmering in the dark that actually mean something. The lemur head with those eyes. The knife. And there's the old 19th century clergyman in the frock coat. My memory was more or less correct, but I had forgotten the guy was black or East Indian. Call me racist or non-racist, whichever works for you. Then I notice it's a layered PSP image, and so with a click, I make a layer visible. And there's the skull. Just the fucking skull. By the way, your Patreon bucks for this video has already been spent to buy the screen capture program I'm using right now. And then I find images made in the various steps of the process. The eyes, just the eyes, freshly transplanted from the lemur without any black outer glow. Now, the images aren't any larger, but they can be reworked, redone, recropped, or even used for more precise searches. And then I have a sense of foreboding. 
all the things lost and not recovered, the computer crashes, having to store shit on obsolete media, that my entire YouTube working files aren't saved to the 300 gigabyte Seagate because it's simply not big enough to add to them what's already on there. I mean, once a 300 gigabyte external drive was thought to be big enough, just like once a 500 megabyte hard drive was thought to be big enough. You kids don't remember what it was like to have a 2400 baud modem, but pornography took a really long time. But even now, people think what they buy will be enough later. The only person who knew there would probably be no end to the storage he needed was Jared Fogel, and he was no master of the endgame. And so I paused my excavations long enough to drive over to Best Buy and lay out $150 for a 5 terabyte external drive, which wasn't paid for by your Patreon dollars, you cheap bastards. Trust me, this 187 gigabytes and four years of my life is getting preserved. Anyway, that's it. That's how I started my New Year right by finding what was, for me, the holy grail of graphics. And all the parts and bits and pieces to redo this guy bigger, stronger, more refined, and suitable for gracing your thong. Because you know you want one. Would it be an understatement to say I'm a bit ecstatic? Hell yeah. That would be an understatement. <laughs> <laughs>